Homeboy! Homeboy! A fiery horse with the speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Pioneers pushed the frontier of the United States westward much faster than the forces of law and order could follow them. For many years, the masked rider of the plains was the only man to whom the settlers could turn in time of danger. But his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were always on the side of right against might, and he blazed the trail for justice throughout the new territory. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young... From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the hill country! Santa's waiting for us! Hail, Silver! Away! Keep traveling, horse. There's a point of light way up ahead. Somebody's campfire. Keep traveling. Lift your hoof. A weary, foam-flecked horse, kept at a hard gallop by an equally weary rider, raised dust under the faint starlight glow that spread across the Texas panhandle. Apparently alone in the wide stretch of prairie, the man rode for a distant speck of light, a small campfire. The campfire cast red flickers on the silvery skin of a great white horse. Near him was another horse, a paint. Crouched beside the fire, nuzzled occasionally by the horses, were two men... One was masked, the other an Indian. The firelight gleamed on their faces, slid over the silver-etched gun butts in the masked man's belt. Then... Tonto. Huh? Have you noticed anything? Huh? We're in the Texas panhandle. Wide open, wild country. It's nighttime. Darkness all around us. Can you hear anything? Me hear fire. Me hear silver. Scout. That all? No, I mean sounds in the night. Sounds from the country around us. Oh, we hear nothing. Yes, yes, Kimasabi. Why don't we hear anything? Why is it so quiet? There should be night birds, coyotes, all kinds of wildlife. Well, we haven't even heard a wolf howl. Oh, not right. I tell you, this country isn't empty. Those stories we heard about this section must be true. There must be people here. There must. People scare animals? Birds. There's no other reason for animals to leave. This country isn't what you'd call fertile, but still it isn't exactly a desert. Oh, it's bad country. The animals send something we don't, Tutta. We've been watching Scout and Silver. Uh-huh. And yet we haven't seen a living soul all day. Not for two days. Oh, it's bad country. <laughs> Silver. In Stampo. What is it, Silver? What is it? Is there anything? What matter? Tutta. Uh. Scatter the fire. Quick. Pull the horses back out of sight. Back, Silver, this way. Come on, Scout. What's wrong, Kimasabi? Lie down, Silver. Down, boy. 
Tonto. Make Scout get down to the ground. Down, Silver. Down, Scout. Down. <laughs> and that's it. Now drop to the ground. Keep low, Tonto. Uh, what for? You've got gun. Quiet. I saw something against the skyline. Just a flash. Something heading this way. What for, sir? I don't know, but we're taking no chances. Wait and... Listen. That horse. Heading this way. Sounds worn out. As if he's been traveling fast. Get ready. Uh. No. Uh. Hmm. Nobody in saddle. <laughs> yes, Tonto. A horse without a rider. Saddled and bridled. Came out of the darkness without a rider. I... What matter? Feel the saddle, Tonto. It's still warm. Someone was in this saddle not ten minutes ago. The reins are still around the horse's neck. Not dropped the way they should be. And... Tonto, the reins are wet. Look, that stain. Where are you? What happened to my horse? What did I run into? I can't see nothing. Where is this place? You and your coyote laughing. Who are you? What do you want with me? If I could see, if I knew where you was, I'd wrestle the truth out of you. Where... Hey! Hey, you! He's gone. You were the fool that was laughing. Hey! Listen, mister, I didn't mean nothing. Why don't you answer me? Even that laugh is better than nothing. You, you ain't going away. Where am I? What is this place? Where's my horse? Oh, oh my. <laughs> mister, where are you? <laughs> it sounds like water. Like water trickling over rocks. Oh, I could use some of that water. Water, it's over this way. I can hear it. Water. Hey, water. Water, it's water. Oh, it tastes good. Feels good too in my hands. <laughs> More water, Tonto. We not got much. He needs it more water. Oh, water. That's what I needed, water. Feeling better? Well, it's daylight. Early morning. I'm out on the plains. I, I could have swore it was in some dark place. It was a fella with left. I'm out on the plains. You're all right now, Johnson. We found you here. I wasn't dreaming. I heard that hombre laughing. I... Oh, I got a bump on my head bigger than an anthill. It was... Hey, how do you know my name? We get horse. Huh? This is your horse, Johnson. Your name's on the saddle. Oh, yeah. Let me look round out. Good idea, Tata. Oh. See if there's any sign around here. The engine's going. He's taking a look around, Johnson. If you were taken someplace during the night, there ought to be prints. Some sort of prints. It was a kind of cave, I guess. Oh, I can still hear that laugh. When we brought your horse over the back trail, you were here. There's no sign that you'd ever left this spot. I think I'm local, huh? And not that, but... Hey, wait a minute. You... You... Oh! Careful. Your hand's cut. It hurts. Last night, I recollect somebody taking a swipe at me in the dark with a sword or saber or something. Well, you'll but... need care for that. Never mind my hands. I just now noticed. Guess it was kind of groggy. Your mask. Yeah, what of it? Plenty, mister. Or is plum peculiar, you and that engine being Johnny on the spot. You needn't be suspicious of that. That's easy to say. This is mighty deserted country. I wake up and you got my horse. My horse! Easy, Johnson. What's the trouble? Get away. I'm looking for... For what? It was right here in my saddlebags. It's gone. Mister, where is it? Something's missing. You know doggone well it is, and you know what it is, too. I'm warning you, fork it over. You got the wrong slant, Johnson. Whatever's missing, I didn't take it. And I say you did. You and that engine... This whole business was rigged up, and who else could it? What the? Well, I'll be hogtied on arrow. Painted red from tip to feathers. A scarlet arrow. Yeah. Scarlet arrow. You and that engine. Johnson. Let go of me. I'm getting out of here. The scarlet arrow, I'm getting out. Get up, boy. Come on, get up. What's wrong, Kimosabe? Did you find any track, Tutter? No, no sign. What matter, Tutter? Him right off like crazy man. This arrow, Tonto. Huh? This scarlet arrow. 
Landed right beside us. Scarlet Arrow. Oh, that bad. It must be. Johnson turned as white as a winter moon when he saw it. Get the horses. Scarlet Arrow. Not plenty bad. Here, Silver. Here, boy. Come on, Tata. Bring that arrow along. Steady, Stone. Bring that arrow. Uh, no. No, Kimasabi. Tonto not touch. What? You take arrow. Tonto not touch. Tonto, you're not superstitious Old about... Indian story about Scarlet Arrow. It bad medicine. Tonto not touch. Very well, Tonto. I'll take it myself. Uh, you know what arrow mean. Uh, never mind that now. You can tell me later. I want to find out why Johnson left in such a hurry and for where. Come on, Silver. On the trail. I tell you, it was the wickedest night I ever had in my life. This here mass man, the engine, and that laughing in the darkness. Oh, for could... land's sake, Johnson, hush your gabbing. You come busting in here, panting and wild-eyed as a baby antelope and talking fit to kill. Well, I tell you... You already th- told us. You told us twice. Yeah, but Sarah's you... Sarah's right, Johnson. We all heard your story. Marty, you believe me, don't you? Reckon we got her. You should have kept going. But I didn't have the What's map. What's the difference? If you'd have got to the town, you could have filed a claim anyways. You know where this here land is situated. You could have drawn a map from memory. I guess I was kind of upset. Upset? <laughs> now that masked man and the engine is most likely taking over this silver we found. Well, Charles, they can't. They'll put the claim in first, won't they? Well, Sorry, I, I tell you, I was scared. You know the stories about this here country. Oh, you know them, Marty. Yeah. Yeah, I know them. But I'm a mite disappointed in you nevertheless. Yeah? You come two in the morning, didn't you? There was your horse right there, wasn't he? Well, sure. Oh, a masked man and an engine says boo to you, and you run like a cotton. Tail. Now, wait, sir. I ain't going to I listen. told you the worst part. Huh? There was something else that made me head this way. Now, don't go adding lies to what you already told, Johnson. You told about the dark and the laughing voice. Yeah, it must have been that masked man laughing. Yeah. And you told about the water and the dark and about what happened after you waked up in the morning. Yeah. Only I ain't told you about the air. You told us all about... Did you say? The arrow. The scarlet arrow. No. It come hissing through the air. Lit right into the dirt beside me. Scarlet arrow. Scarlet from tip to feathers. Yeah, Marty. Like the story you was telling us about this here country. A lost mine that nobody ever seen. Years ago. A lost mine and how the Indians killed everybody in it. Killed them with scarlet arrows. Uh, it's just a story. We ain't never seen that mine. That don't prove it ain't one. You must have run into it last night, Johnson. I didn't know what I run into last night, Marty. It can't be. It can't no, be. No, he's seen the arrow, Sarah. The scarlet arrow. Yeah, and for all I figure, the engine must have shot it. He was out of sight when it come flying through the air. Engine and a masked man. Sure sounds bad. We ain't going away from here if that's what you're thinking. I ain't said so. You don't have to say it. Marty, Johnson, we can't go. Not now. We ain't got money or no place to head for. We come out here, we took a last chance, and we found silver. If we go now, we'll be nothing but folks without a home or a way to live. We can't go. I seen that scarlet arrow, sir. Sorry, sorry. Purvis, what are you busting in for? Johnson was talking about a masked man in the engine. What about him? They're heading this way across the prairie, the two of them. They are, eh? Johnson, grab your gun. So that's the story behind the Scarlet Arrow Tunnel. Ah, uh, that's right. Yet we saw no sign of any lost mine. No trace of any mining operations in that section at all. Story, heap old. If it happened that long ago, who do you think shot this arrow? It wasn't a ghost, Tunnel. Oh, Tonto, not no. Ah, these two shacks up ahead must be where Johnson came from. It's the only sign of human life we've seen since we left the town. Mm, that long time ago. It looks very quiet. Ah, uh. We're going to find out what this is all about, Santa. We've got to win Johnson's confidence. Uh-huh. We leave Scout and Silver here with these other horses. Who, Silver? Uh-huh. Well, there's Johnson's horse. Steady, Scout. Strange that no one has come out, Hunter. They must have heard us coming. Uh-huh. Maybe them not want us. We'll soon see. Hello? Nobody in. Maybe we... Uh, I can't understand it, Hunter. Stand right still, both of you. Mister, that shot was into the door. One move out of you or the engine, and we aim at you. Yeah, four guns all set to blast you to bits. And before we get through, you're going to wish we pulled the trigger sooner. 
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. With the muzzles of four guns pointed directly at them, the Lone Ranger touched the arm of his Indian companion. Don't reach for your guns, Hunter. It's your move, Johnson. Yeah, you're being smart. Harry, you can leave go of your gun now. Purvis and Johnson will handle this. Mister, you and that Indian move inside the shack. The Lone Ranger and Tonto stepped across the threshold into the bare shack with its meager furnishings. Lined against the wall, their guns removed from their holsters, they faced the three grim-looking men and the troubled woman. You plan to kill us? Sure we do. You tried to Just sneak a up moment. here. Yeah? Before you do anything you'll be sorry for, can we talk to this woman alone? <laughs> you think we're prom loco? What do you want to talk with Sarah for? You have a gun. No, you ain't going to talk. Very well, then. Let someone stay here. Let Johnson stay. Uh... I don't know. You got something special to tell me? Perhaps I have. It won't stay secret, mister. I'll tell Purvis and Marty as soon as you're through. At least give me the chance to talk with you. It's all right. Marty, you... Now, Sarah, you... It's sh- all right. It's all right. Go on, Scat. You're being foolish, Sarah. Them two... I just want to see they don't try nothing, Purvis. Well, if you say so, Sarah. Come on, Purvis. Oh, fire nonsense. You be careful, Sammy. All right, mister. Speak your piece. And don't try nothing funny. I can see it's going to be hard to convince you that you're wrong about us. Marty hard. I don't I came here to help you, Johnson. You can help better by getting back again the wall where you was. If you don't, I'll... I'll take it easy. Tattoo and Johnson, I... Johnson, careful, he's got no, it. No, Tattoo. He come. Hold that let door. Go out. That does it. Why, you grabbed the gun right out of his hand, Johnson. You let him get Sorry, it. I couldn't help it. Hey, what's going on in there? Don't try to come in. Marty, he's got us. He's got the gun. That's enough. Tonto, take this gun. Uh-huh, me take it. Don't try to come in or you'll run into trouble. You, you better do like he says, Marty. He'll do it. So will Purvis. Now, suppose the three of us get down to facts. You're mighty slick, ain't you? Johnson, believe me. I'm as much in the dark as you are and just as innocent. Yeah, well, I don't believe you, see? No, but we're going to have a long talk. By the time I'm through, you will believe me. You'll have to. That's the answer. That's why Tato and I are here. Who we are doesn't matter. But you need help. Well, mister, we we ain't much. We're sort of drifters. Old Marty is too old to be much use to anybody. Me, just a woman without no folks. Johnson here... Why, well, so old. No, he ain't old. He's just a Roman cowhand looking for something to hang on to. And Purvis... What about Purvis? Well, we all sort of run into one another, kind of... Purvis, well, I guess he's got some secret sorrow in his past. He ain't talked much to us. He hasn't, huh? I see. I guess we've been living on hope for so long, it don't seem real if we finally run into luck. But we done it, and we aim to keep our luck. We got to. You found silver out here. We stumbled on it. You still think Tato and I stopped you last night, huh, Johnson? You think Tato shot that arrow? I don't know, not now. If we lose that claim, we ain't got nothing left. That's the honest fact. Tonto, open the door. Open the door, you... Go ahead, open it. Uh. Well, well, it's about time. Now me and Purvis... Just a moment. Careful, Marty. The Redskins got a gun. We're giving the gun back to Johnson. Uh, me do it. Your gun. Well, I don't figure this. You handed the gun over. Now you're right back where you were for. Are we? Would you shoot us now? Would we shoot you? Mister, after that stunt you pulled, grabbing Johnson's gun, we sure will. Just hold your horses there, Marty. The answer's no. Huh? There's right. I couldn't shoot him down. And no one else ain't going to. As far as I'm concerned, him and the engine and he's aiming to help us. Well, Mike, doubtful, but I figure maybe he can help us. Somebody's got well, to... Well, I'll just don't go. Tato and I'll make camp near here tonight. There's one thing I haven't told you. Huh? What's that? I wanted Marty and Purvis to hear it, too. 
I know who stole that clay map from you, Johnson. Well, you do? Yes, yes, I know. Who was it? You'll get the it? answer tomorrow morning. Well, I'll be plumb... Tomorrow morning and not before. All about the Scarlet Arrow and this lost mine. The whole thing. I can promise you that. All right, Hunter. Let's turn in. The fire will keep going all right. Uh, white friend, tell Tonto... Yes? You... You sure... You not make mistake? You sure who shoot Arrow? Who stopped Johnson last night? Time for sleep, Kimasabi. Tomorrow we'll go straight to this lost mine. That's a promise I'm going to keep. Hank! Hank, where are you? Right here. How'd things go? Strike a light. Can't see nothing in here. Well, that better? When do I head for town and register the claim to that silver? Hank, maybe I should have let you go sooner. Huh? Yeah. You see, I figured if you waited a while, I could get them folks out of this section. Why have me shoot more of them airs, huh? That and other ways. <laughs> we sure give Johnson plenty. All they needed was more of the same. Enough scares and they'd pull up and wander. Then you could step in and take that claim without nobody around to ask questions. What's going wrong? You seen that masked man in the engine? Sure, this morning when I shot that arrow. We got to take care of them, Hank. Huh? They're camping out near the shacks right now. The masked man stated he was going to tell who took that paper out of Johnson's saddlebags come morning. Oh, he knows, huh? You let something slip. I didn't let nothing slip, nothing. It beats me. I didn't figure nobody could find the entrance to this old mine. You're wasting it time, was... Hank. We got to get moving. For town? We head for town later. First, we go back and dust off that masked man in the engine. I got gotcha. you. We start now. We can sneak up on him before dawn. We'll put a couple of bullets in him. Yeah, that ought to fix him good. Good and forever, Hank. They won't do any talking. Not when we get finished. No talking at all. There's a campfire. We leave the horses here. Take off them spurs, you fool. It'll wake them up. Yeah. As soon as we get them, we ride off. Savvy? I'm to head for town and file on that claim? Yeah. I'll hold out in the old mine. I'll wait for you. All right. We'll go. Stop. That's them, huh? Yeah. Rolled up in the blankets. You take the one at the right. Pump bullets into them. From here, we can't miss. Got your gun? Both of them. All right. Pour it on them. Johnson! Sherry! Open the door. Open it. Marty, what's happened? Tank daybreak. Marty, what's sir? I heard shots. Yeah, yeah, shots. They come from where that masked man and the engine made their camp. Uh, get me a shawl. I'll be right there. What do you think it was? We'll what? see when we get there. It sounded like dozens of them. Brought me right out of a sound there, sleep. But... There's a campfire. Hey! I don't see nobody stirring. Kick up that fire. Yeah. We gotta look for him. Hey, mister! Engine! Wake him up, Marty. Hey, hey, you! Land the ghost in a racket like that and wake the dead. They can't be... What's the matter? Johnson, there's bullet holes in them blankets, huh? Yeah, I tell you there... Marty, Johnson, where are they? What happened? Me and Johnson was just noticing, Sarah. There's bullet holes in them blankets. Will you take off the blankets so as we can see? They ain't dead. Let me see. Well, I'll be a coyote. They ain't here. The engine and the masked man ain't here. What kind of business is this? Blankets full of holes and nothing under the blankets but a couple of sticks of wood. You're not all here. Where's Purvis? Sakes alive, you give us a turn. What's been happening out here? How come this... Where's Purvis? Why, gosh, I don't know. Funny he ain't here. No, it isn't, Marty. I wanted to make sure, but I suspected him. Huh? Tonto and I set a trap. We knew that whoever was behind this couldn't afford to let me live because I had said I knew him. Purvis done this? Purvis, yes. We used that wood to make it look as if we were in those blanket rolls. Tonto and I were watching from a little distance off. Purvis done it? Mask man, you mean he's behind this here whole scheme? He is. Otherwise, he'd be here with you. Worry that on a repull, Cat. He met the skinnest out of the claim. The man with him is heading for town to file that claim right now. He heading for town? Jumping Mavericks will never catch him. I think you will, Marty. Here, Silver. I'm going after that man myself. Silver can catch him in no time. 
As for Purvis... What about that <laughs> sneaking rattler? Where is he? We learn that too, ma'am. Tonto's trailing him. You get your horses. Pick up Tonto's trail. He left it plain enough to follow. We sure will, mister. I'll join you as soon as I can. Perhaps even before you get after Purvis. But don't wait. We're getting our horses right now. Come on, Silver. Come on, boy. Hail Silver. Away. Nice and cozy down here in this old mine. There ain't there a sign of it on the surface. Unless you know how to duck under that overhang on the wall of the arroyo. Well, just got to sit back and wait for Hank to come back from town. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where'd that come from? Must have been Echo. He never heard it before, but that... What the... That weren't no Echo. That sounded like Johnson. <laughs> Tarnation. First Sherry, then Johnson, and that was Marty. Marty, all three of them. They must have found the entrance to the mine. They must... That, that's the error. The Scarlet Era. What am I doing Stand in the light? I'm a clear target. Ah, that's better. Let them laugh. They can't see me. Let them laugh. Long as they're here, that means Hank is on his way to town and... Who's that? Answer him, I'll... I'll get him! Did you stand still? Get my son I must be dreaming. Your voices. You sound like the mass man. The mass man and the engine. We are. You can't be. Me and Hank, we blasted you to bits. We shot you while you were sleeping. You think you did. Put on that light. I'm going crazy. Put on that... Light on now. Now you see us. Yeah. Yeah, you're alive. Both of you alive. You shot at nothing, Purvis. Where's Hank? You're asking about your partner. He never got to town, Purvis. He's tied up. Up above on the ground. He told you about this place. It wasn't necessary. Tonto followed your trail easily. Oh, uh, that's right. Where is that desert rat? Let me at him. Mister, you sure saved us from going hungry. You saved our claim. Marty, Sari, listen. You gotta listen. We ought to string you up. Johnson's up above with your sneaking pine. The two of you ought to Oh, Marty. You promised you'd let the law take its own course with Purvis. You'll keep that promise. Yeah, mister. We will. And say, Purvis, how'd it feel? Huh? What do you mean? We found where you made that laughing noise so as it sounded downright spine shivering. We thought we'd give you a little taste of your own medicine. And you didn't like it, did you? Not one single bit. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 